Hello, I'm Deacon Mike Pavelic. The purpose of this short video is to have a refresher for our electors. And if someone wants to become elector, this would be a good training for them as well. Before we get into the actual uh, training of what we do as electors, maybe just a little background on what elector is. Um, one thing elector is not is a public speaker. Even though we're in front of the public, in front of the congregation, but we shouldn't perceive ourselves as public speakers. What we are, or we're a minister of the word. We are uh, coming up to the congregation and proclaiming the word of God to them. And why is this so important? Well, a couple of reasons. First of all, if you're a minister of the word, we should be prepared. Before the Sunday service, we should have read the reading several times. If there are words that we're having trouble uh, pronouncing, we should find guides to take care of that, to help us. Uh, there's several resources. The USECB has pronunciation guides. So that's one aspect. Number two, we need to be prayerful about our ministry. Pray that the Holy Spirit will be with us when we proclaim the word. And then when we actually proclaim the word, it's just so vitally important to do what the church is asking us to do. And there's a reason for this. Uh, what we do not do is we say what the lectionary says. And the lectionary looks like this. And if you notice, every year there's a different lectionary. So during the cycles of A, B, and C, which were in year B, which is 2021, the elective readings will come out of this lectionary. And it's very important that we follow what the lectionary says. In other words, what am I saying? We do not come up here and say, the first reading is. We do not say, this is a reading from a certain gospel passage and the chapter and the verses. And again, as I said earlier, there's a reason for it. This is a lectionary. These are not Bible readings. They are coming out of the Bible. Don't get me wrong. But they're not proclaiming the word out of the Bible. They're proclaiming it out of the lectionary, which was established by the church by the church of the U.S. and other churches throughout the Universal Church. So therefore, once we're a minister of the church, we're a minister for St. Joseph, yes. We're a minister for the Archdiocese of San Antonio, yes. We're a minister of the, of the church of the U.S., yes. And we're also the minister of the Universal Church. And what's so beautiful about the Catholic Church is that if you go, no matter where you go throughout the world, the same message is going to be given to everyone the same way. So let's follow the lectionary. That's very, very important. Um, so if you open up the lectionary, and it says a reading from the book of the prophet Jonah for this particular reading, a third Sunday in ordinary time. That's all we say. We don't say the first reading. We just go directly to a reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. And then you start proclaiming. I want you to reflect on one thing. Just think of the ministry that you're doing and the words you're going to proclaim to the congregation. What if the way you proclaimed it, one of those words changed somebody's life and got closer to God? That's what this ministry is about. So we want to thank you. Thank you for volunteering for the ministry of lecturing. We're going to continue with the video on how to approach the altar and then how we approach the ambo. So now let's just talk about the mechanics of lecturing. I know it's kind of a weird word, mechanics, but you know, what is our approach and what Father Francis wants our lectors to do? First of all, let's consider something. If this is not public speaking, let's consider when we are lecturing, maybe look for a position in the church closer to the altar. And for example, here's the first pew that can be open if it's possible. And again, right now with the coronavirus and the social distancing, it may be difficult, but try. Try to get a seat closer. So you're sitting here after the uh, collect, the opening prayer of the Mass. Um, everybody is set down. Then it's your cue, if you're the first reader, to stand up, approach the altar, and again, try to approach the altar with folded hands. Show reverence, because we're getting ready to proclaim the Word of God. How beautiful is that? And then approach the altar. 
and make a, uh, make a bow, and then just go up the altar. What direction you go to the ambo is not that important. And then you approach the ambo. And the same procedure for the second reader. If you're assigned up to be the second reader for the Sunday liturgy, after the responsorial psalm, and here at St. Joseph, we have a choir, we have a cantor, so the responsorial psalm is sung. So after the responsorial psalm is finished, same way, stand up, again, folded hands for showing the reverence because we're getting ready to proclaim the word of God. Again, same as the first reader, bow to the altar, and then approach the ambo. Now at the ambo, we can look out to the congregation, but we go directly to the reading. And again, as I mentioned earlier, we're, this particular lectionary, what we have open is for the third Sunday at ordinary time, the first reading. So we start a reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. Remember when we proclaim, we want to proclaim slowly, enunciate, let your voice proclaim to the congregation, because we know that there are many people that have hard time hearing. So enunciation and proclaiming the word loudly, and you have to get used to the mic a little bit, so prepare, maybe come up and practice with the mic to make sure that the people out there hear the word. After we're finished with the reading, the end is the word of the Lord. It used to be, this is the word of the Lord, but the church, through her in her infinite wisdom said the word of the Lord is a better translation. So they changed it. And this is why it was changed to the word of the Lord. So we ask you to stay to script uh, of what the lectionary has for us to proclaim. After the first reading is over, I think it's always proper that you switch the page for the second reader so they're ready when they come up. And then the second reader, same way. We, we talked about how we approach the ambo. Same way. We don't say this is the second reading. We just go right to what the lectionary says. For this particular reading, it states a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. That's it. Then you start proclaiming the word of God. Again, I will reiterate because it's very important. Practice. Speak slowly. Enunciate and let your voice proclaim. Same as the first reading at the end, the closure is the word of the Lord and then people respond. After the second reader is finished, it's, we want you to take the second reading book, the lectionary, and open this ambo and set it underneath here. So when the deacon or the priest is gonna proclaim the gospel, it is open for them to put the book of gospels there. So let's talk about something that's happening now because of the pandemic. A little bit of a few tweaks, so we want to make sure that we're in the present moment. So as you come forward to the altar, you will have your mask on. So before we come up to the ambo, we ask to go purify your hands. There's a container here at, the, at a little stand to purify your hands. And again, the purpose for this is just in case, if you're touching the mic, if you're touching pages, just want to make sure things are sanitary. You go through the same process, the same procedure we talked about, it, although take your mask off before you start proclaiming. Then after we are finished proclaiming the word of God, the first reader finished, moved the page for the second reader. The second reader finished, he, she or he put the book of the lectionary book under near, under there. Now we're ready to go back to our pew. Same way, put your mask back on and then process down. And again, hands folded, always show reverence. That's all that this is about. Because we, what? We have just proclaimed the word of God. Hands folded, bow. Turn around and proceed back to your pew with reverence. This is not anything about us. Please understand, 
As a lector, we are ministers of the Word of God. It's nothing about us. We are just the vessels proclaiming the Word of God. I hope this has helped. I hope this is something that will benefit you and increase your reverence, increase the, uh, the importance of proclaiming the Word of God to our congregation. Thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, always there's the uh, staff at our St. Joseph's Parish to answer or ask questions. God bless you.